Welcome to an introductory lecture on cookies. Whenever you visit a website like Amazon or eBay, you will receive a cookie. So it is quite important to have a clear idea of what a cookie is. In this video, I will talk about the fundamental concepts of HTTP cookies along with their usage and applications. I will also discuss different types of cookies. Finally, privacy issues will be addressed. So what exactly is a cookie? A cookie also known as HTTP cookie is a small piece of data sent from a web server from a website and stored in the user's web browser while the user is browsing. It is designed as a reliable technique for websites to track user. Its usage includes storing stateful information such as products viewed in an online store or record the user's browsing activity, including pages visited, buttons clicked, viewing history, etc. It can also be used to remember important information that the user previously provided as input, such as names, addresses, passwords, credit card numbers, etc. Now I will discuss different types of commonly used cookies. They are mainly session cookie, persistent cookie, secure cookie, HTTP only cookie, same site cookie, third party cookie. There are other types of cookies also, but I will focus only on these cookies as they are widely used in practice. Now let me begin with session cookie. It is also known as transient cookie. It exists only in temporary memory while the user navigates the website. Web browsers normally delete session cookies when the user closes the browser. Unlike other cookies, session cookies do not have an expiration date, which is how the browser knows to treat them as session cookies. Now let me talk about persistent cookie. It expires at a specific date or after a specific time. Cookies lifespan is not fixed. It varies from server to server, basically its creator. Information is transmitted to the server every time the user visits the website, what it belongs to, or every time the user views a page belonging to that website from another website, such as an advertisement. Persistent cookies are also known as tracking cookies because they can be used by advertisers to gather information about a user's web browsing history. They are also used for valid reasons such as keeping users' login credentials into their accounts on websites to avoid re-entering the same information at every visit. Now let me talk about secure cookie. A secure cookie can only be transmitted over an encrypted connection uh, that is HTTPS but not over unencrypted connections like HTTP. This reduces cookie theft via eavesdropping. A secure flag is added to the cookie to make it secure. Next is HTTP only cookie. It cannot be accessed by client side APIs such as JavaScript. Cookie theft via cross site scripting is eliminated. It is a type of computer security vulnerability typically found in web applications. Cross-site scripting enables attackers to inject client-side scripts into web pages viewed by other users. However, it remains vulnerable to cross-site tracing and cross-site request forgery attacks. A HTTP-only flag is added to the cookie. Now let me talk about same-site cookies. A new kind of cookie called same-site cookie can only be sent in request originating from the same origin as the target domain. The restriction mitigates attacks such as cross-site request forgery. A cookie is given this characteristic by adding the same site flag to the cookie. There is another kind of cookie which is also very popular called third-party cookie. When a cookie's domain attribute matches with the domain that is shown in web browser's address bar, it's called a first-party cookie. 
third party cookie belongs to a domain different from the one shown in the address bar. If a cookie is associated with a file requested from the same domain as the page you are viewing, it is called first party cookie. A cookie associated with a file requested from a different domain is a third party cookie. It appears when web pages displays content from other websites such as banner advertisements. It enables advertisers to track the user's browsing history so that they can serve relevant advertisements to each user. Now let me explain uh, what a third party cookie is by giving you an example. Suppose a user visits www.xyz.com which displays an ad from ad.itrackyou.com. When the user clicks on the ad, it sets a cookie belonging to the advertisement's domain ad.itrackyou.com. Then the user visits another website www.abcd.com which also contains an ad from ad.itrackyou.com. When the user clicks on the ad, it sets a cookie belonging to that domain ad.itrackyou.com. Hence, both of these cookies will be sent to the advertiser when loading their advertisements or visiting their website. Using these cookies, the advertiser creates a browsing history of the user across all the websites that have ads from this advertiser. Using privacy settings, modern browsers can block third-party cookies. Now let me discuss some of the usage of cookies. The main usage of cookies are as follows. Session management, personalization, and tracking. For session management, session cookie uses unique session identifier for authentication services. For personalization, websites use cookies for personalization based on user's preferences. And for tracking, Cookies are used to track users' web browsing habits. Now let me talk about session management. A popular usage of cookies is for website login. When a user visits a website to log on, the web server sends the client a cookie that contains a unique session identifier. When a user logs in, the server uses the unique session identifier for authentication to grant access to its services. Using a session cookie, a website can gather a lot of personal information about each user. It also helps to improve page load times since the amount of information in a session cookie is small and requires little bandwidth. Now let me talk about personalization. Cookies Remember, information about the user and display relevant content to that user over time. Many websites use cookies for personalization based on the user's preferences. Users select their preferences by entering them in a web form and submitting the form to the server. The server encodes the preferences in a cookie and sends the cookie back to the browser. This way, every time the user accesses a page on the website, the server can personalize the page according to the user's preferences. Now let me talk about tracking. It is mainly used to track users' web browsing habits. Cookies allow for greater precision when tracking users. If the user requests a page on the site and the request has no cookie, the server assumes that this is the first time visited by the user so the server generates a unique identifier in the form of a cookie and sends this back to the browser with the requested page. From now onwards, every time a new page from the site is requested, the cookie will automatically be sent by the browser to the server. The server sends the page as per request. In addition, it also stores the URL of the requested page along with timestamp and the cookie in a log file. After analyzing this log file, one finds out about the user's browsing history, such as pages the user has visited and for how long, in what sequence, etc. 
Enterprises utilize users' browsing history by tracking cookies to collect information about buying patterns and preferences. Now, let me talk about privacy and third-party cookies. <clears throat> cookies play an important role on the privacy of users. A new web standard has been proposed that allows users to implement whichever third-party cookie policy they wish. Most browsers such as Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome do allow third-party cookies by default. Suppose an advertising company has placed banners in multiple websites. Hosting the banner images on its servers and using third-party cookies, the advertising company can track the browsing of users across these sites. Thus, advertising company can track a user across all pages where it has placed banner ads. Knowledge of the pages visited by a user allows the advertising company to target advertisement to the user's preferences. Website owners could lose con consumer trust if they do not disclose consumers how they use third-party cookie if cookie use is discovered. A well-articulated privacy policy will eliminate any negative effects of such cookie discovery. The possibility of building a profile of users is a privacy threat especially when tracking is done across multiple domains using third-party cookies. That leads to the summary of this lecture. A cookie is a small piece of information stored in the user's web browser while the user is browsing. There are various type, types of cookies such as session cookie, persistent cookie, HTTP only cookie, same site cookie, third-party cookie. Cookies are used for session management, personalization, and tracking. Privacy is a big concern for users. For this reason, some countries have legislation about cookies. Thank you for watching this video.